Okay, I'm going to go ahead and call the uh, budget committee meeting <coughs> to order, please. We do have uh, a set of minutes for December the 9th. Motion to approve. Second. I have a motion and a second. Is there any comments or concern concerning the minutes? All in favor say aye. Aye. Any opposed? All right. Uh, fund balance report is in your packet. We don't have the summary financial statement for you tonight. The trustee did not get their books closed till the day. I'm sure that's because December they have a pretty wild time with all the mortgage companies and everybody paying last minute. So they are done and reconciled, but we haven't had a chance uh, to post that activity yet. So I will have a summary financial statement on your desk <coughs> the night of the meeting. Uh, do feel real good on the uh, when you're looking at the general fund fund balance and you see it's down to fifteen million six sixty seven. Three million seven hundred fifty thousand of that is for the radio system upgrade for uh, sheriff's department in Lima. I do re feel real good about us getting that money back through American Rescue Plan. So um, don't really have anything else specific that I need to talk to you about tonight. So that's about it. Mm -hmm. Entertain a motion to accept the report. Second. I have a motion and a second. Any additional questions? All in favor say aye. Aye. Any opposed? All right. Amendments. Uh, first budget amendment is for the uh, Ag Center. Uh, Quentin, do you, do you have anything specific or you just want me to go through them? Go through them. All right. Uh, they're requesting to take money out of advertising <coughs> and put it into maintenance and repair of equipment and out of building improvements into custodial supplies and communications, no new money, just line and transfers within their budget. So second. Okay, we have a motion and a second to approve the amendment. Any questions? All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? The second amendment is to take uh, utility reimbursement from Wilson County promotions and put it back into the utility line. So moved. Second. Have a motion and a second to approve. Any questions? All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Building inspector, this is the one that we deferred last month that the planning committee came back and uh, changed it from 4500 to 6000 for fuel to get through the rest of the year. We have a, have a motion and a second. Any questions or comments? All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Uh, county buildings, they sold a 2007 Silverado truck and a lawnmower, and they're asking to take those proceeds and put it back into their vehicle line. Motion. Did you get more out of the lawnmower or the truck? Yeah, which one? <laughs> Pretty bad. Yeah. Did you have good tires on it? <laughs> okay, is there, there was a motion. Was there a second? Second. Okay, I'm sorry. Motion and a second. Any additional questions or comments? All in favor say aye. Yeah. Any opposed? Expo Center again is a line of transfer. Uh, just taking money out of travel into office equipment to uh, purchase a computer booking program. So I have a motion and a second to approve. Uh, any other comments or questions? All in favor say aye. Aye. Any opposed? The next one's for us. It pays out Miss uh, Debbie Fisher. Um, her remaining uh, annual time where she's retired and allows us to go ahead and, and deal with the promotions of Holly and Shelly over in that department. Go ahead and give them some compensation for the additional responsibilities they've assumed. So moved. Second. I have a motion and a second. Any questions or comments? So we, we're not replacing or we just we hired, spreading out the... We hired in uh, Christy Taylor, so we had time. Uh, uh, as I was going through in the finance committee the other night, when, when Ms. Sharon Lackey left us, I divvied up the responsibilities among the remaining staff members, and we never hired anybody else in Sharon's place. Uh, I always intended to hire somebody, but I wasn't ready. So when we knew Debbie was leaving, I decided to take that money to hire a 
clerical person, uh, a benefits person over there. Um, so we still have three people in benefits is to answer your question. Okay. We do have a motion and a second. Any other additional questions, comments? All in favor, say aye. 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 Any opposed? Uh, judges uh, taking money out of the library books and uh, into <coughs> other supplies and office supplies. Um, again, no new money, just line them transfers. Judges don't need books. Are you really? Mm -hmm. hey, what do they need books for? <coughs> they don't use them. That's what I thought. <laughs> yes, that's the lawyer. <laughs> they don't use them. Can't read. So moved. Second. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> you have a motion and a second. Any additional <laughs> comments? <laughs> All in favor, say aye. Aye. And Any opposed? Thank you. Last one for me. Wema has gotten money in from their response to uh, North Carolina for Hurricane Florence, uh, requesting to put that money back uh, into 536, which is their special operations team. Motion. Second. Have a motion and a second to approve. Any additional comments or questions? All in favor say aye. Aye. Any opposed? Okay, education. We have one budget meeting tonight. We've got three parts. First one is to book a new middle school grant we received. Let's just book in the revenue and expenditures for that. Uh, the second one is requesting a line item transfer for staff development for our HR department. And the third one is to correct our board members' pay so that it matches county pay. So moved. Second. A motion and a second to approve. Any comments or questions? All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Okay, is there any new business that needs to come before the committee? Old business? Anything from the gallery? One other motion? I got, I got one. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, uh, almost, mate. Almost. Mate. <laughs> yeah. Quentin's here. We were looking at as you go in the ag center in the front, you know, over to the left hand side, you see all of those striped parking lanes for people to pull in there and park and then park on the grass. Uh, we would like to ask permission to bid out the right side to do that as well. Uh, we do have the bid specs together. Uh, we do have a diagram. We will put it also in front of the ag committee when they meet uh, the week of the 24th, but just like permission to bid that and see what that would cost us to do that. So you're talking about just cost to, to pave it? Just to pave those strips like we did. And because what's happening right now is people pull in, they'll go over there and they'll park on the other side. And then when that all gets full, they'll park on the right-hand side. Mm -hmm. If they could pull it on the right-hand side in the beginning, it would alleviate traffic issues and of course just allow people to get in there quicker. Mm -hmm. uh, and that territory could be used for that with uh, minimal uh, work at all really. So just ask permission to, to pay to, to get it out and then bring it back to the Ag Committee and then come back here with it. Uh, let you decide. Okay, entertain a motion to allow for a bid. So moved. Second. Okay. Any additional comments? Mr. Gentry. Yeah. Yeah. Last night <laughs> we had a finance meeting and we discussed uh, as everyone is pay raises for our employees. And as we know now, we have a threshold. If we're above that threshold, they get a percentage increase. And we discussed possibly lowering that threshold. Well, wait a second. Let us get through with this one before you bring that up. All in favor? Oh, I thought you. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought you were going. All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Okay, I thought you were Okay, I thought it. you already voted. I'm sorry. But then, yeah, we discussed that last night. And whether it be a policy from the finance committee or and we decided that the budget had to weigh in on that also so in your future deliberations on your budget we'd like to entertain uh, the possibility of lowering that threshold so the employees get a pay raise uh, say at a two and a half percent increase in the county uh, input from funds uh, for the taxes and all the income that we receive versus a Three or three and a half, whatever it is now. What is it? What is it currently? Three and a half. Three and, a half. and I think what would be good is if Mr. Maynard could kind of look and study that. If you right. would give him that permission yeah. to do that, and he'll bring it back to us and say, hey, to be equal, since we've grown so much, three and a half percent now is quite a bit. Yeah. So he'll bring us back if, if you would give him permission to do that. And Plus, 
should we also kind of wait and see what the study comes up with? Oh, well, that, okay. that's in addition to the study. Yeah. This is really about, you know, we put you, you guys put the resolution in so that going forward, if growth was good enough, okay. take the employees off the top. Uh, right. And it had to be a certain percentage, and that was three and a half percent. Uh, that employees got automatic one and a half and a half percent also went towards the insurance fund to keep it solid. Right. Uh, that three and a half percent has been a little tougher to reach because we've grown so much. That percent maybe needs to be lowered some in that resolution. Mr. Maynard could study that and bring that back to you for recommendation at some point uh, <coughs> between now and budget time. Okay. Sounds good. I will just give you two, two, two more things real quick. A lot of times people ask me about the pilot program. There are two that went off this year uh, with Federal Express and Maplehurst Bakeries, which puts money back into our coffers. In 22, we'll have four uh, go off, which is Journeys or Genesco, O'Reilly's, Wonder Porcelain, and um, Napa. And then in 23, uh, you'll have uh, three that will go off, which will be Maplehurst Bakeries Expansion, Wonder Porcelain Expansion, and Under Armour. Um, and then, so then after that, you really only have four left on the pilot program, and so that's only four out there. So that's that's a good thing. Uh, we will get, to, I won't speak with Mr. Maynard, but we'll get you a budget timeline out by February the 1st, so you can kind of start looking at it. I did ask HR last night to, to write up, uh, you know, a lot of questions about the pay study, how long, why is it taking so long, whatever. So she did a detailed description for me today, and I'll get that out to all of you guys tomorrow so you can see exactly what all's happened during that time. Uh, and I did reach out to um, um, Kelly Joe Dyer today and say, hey, you know, what about that FEMA appeal? We had one pro one program, it was one set of money, it was still out there, and she said they're still working on it. They were supposed to have it done in 90 days, but it's long after 90 days. So, anyway, so that's all I got. Yes, sir. Yeah, along that line, uh, I know the Amazon building out there in Mount Julia never went to a pilot, just went straight to tax. Yes. And, uh, they haven't been fully operational until this last six months. So they will hit our next budget, I would assume. Is there any estimate on that, <coughs> that one building at I can five get million it. square feet? <coughs> well, I'd have to go down to the property assessor's office and get the get the tax. Yeah, I'm sure it is. I'm sure it is. A lot of times what I've noticed is is when we put something forward as a pilot, which as you correctly pointed out, this was not one. But we'll put something down as a pilot, and then we'll say 30 million, you know, up to 30 million in real property improvements or whatever. Well, when it gets finished and the appraisal gets done, it winds up being 23 million or something like that. So, uh, but I'm not sure what it's appraised for, so I can't really answer your question. Yes, sir. One more. Uh, Mr. Maynard, you for what you guys do. You know, the budget committee, y'all are y'all tasked with a lot of a lot of things. The other night we had a EMA meeting. Um, it's very challenging. I'm sure you guys have heard. You probably read the news. Um, we're going to be challenged with a <coughs> difficult situation coming up. Okay, for you guys and also because at the end of the day, you guys have been submitted to us. Um, we was struggling. We're down 23 people, maybe 26. 26. 26. Yeah, we're down to 26 now. So we're trying to figure out a way to uh, come up with a solution to retain the people that we have now before they leave us. So we're going to be submitting something hopefully soon. And um, just want to let you guys be aware of that. I feel like that you guys should be on notice that you guys will be seeing something from the EMA committee, I think. So if you would take that into consideration, and thank you guys for what y'all do. And to add to that, February the 3rd is the date that I thought they will get the numbers back, and you'll see that in your uh, process, the, the, the letter I'll give you tomorrow. Thank you, Mary. Okay. Thank you. There are our funds that went to our staff from the COVID money, did it not seem to help this situation at all? It seemed like it. The 3500 I mean, I'm sure it, it, it helped. Yeah. Uh, no question, it's a pretty good lick. Uh, but I mean, I can't answer. I really can't even answer that. So they can yeah. distract that. If I may, unfortunately, like what the mayor said, that I like what he said the other night. Unfortunately, you know, when man ups the wages around us, people will flock to what pays the best. Um, we have great people that work for us, 
but unfortunately, you know, when you can go to Mount Juliet, make 61,000, starting off in the firefighter, not have to run ambulance. You know, they're you know, we've lost eight maybe people from our from from Wema, and I know that they were just approved for another another additional. They're doing so, six. Yeah, they're approved to hire another six from Mount Juliet through from now to July 1, and I think they're going to add another nine after that. And then you also have Brentwood, Rutherford County. Um, I know Nashville is just waiting. They're waiting for ambulances to actually be <coughs> delivered, but once that happens, then they're going to add 60 people. And I think their paramedics make $84,000 a year. So, Matt, I echo that we are going to have to see, figure something out um, that we'll finally maybe send to you guys at a later time. So, just want to let you guys know. Yeah. Love you guys. Thank you for what you did. Any additional comments? Questions? Motion to adjourn. Second. Motion to adjourn. Thank you very much. Y'all be careful going home.